Hey, today we're working on scales. I'm in the process of learning all the major scales right now, so I'm going to go over one with you. I'm going to teach you all the major scales as I learn them. Um, uh, I'm in the process of learning them all. I'm going to show you the first one I learned, which is um, <clears throat> it's called a 6-2 scale. You can do it in any key, but we're going to be using the key of G major. So this is going to be a G major scale. Now, first of all, what's a scale? A scale is just a series of notes that has a meaningful relationship to the first note in the series, which is called the root note. Uh, major scales are constructed um, in a certain way, which I won't get into today. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, but they have a basic pattern of if G is our root note, we go, uh, so on a guitar, a tone is two frets, a semitone is one fret. So a major scale is constructed as the root and then a tone tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Okay? If we do do, re, mi, that's do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So we go from G on the third fret of the sixth string to G on the fifth fret of the third of the fourth string. So that's your basic G major scale. I'm going to show you the 6-2 configuration. Now G major, uh, basically you're just going to follow all the letters of the alphabet, starting with G, then back to A, and so on. The G major scale contains all the natural notes except F. We're going to sharpen F, so we're going to do an F sharp instead of an F. Okay, so that goes G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. I'm going to give you a close-up of what that looks like now as we do the whole configuration all the way across the fretboard and back, okay? So we're going to do the G, so a G major scale in a 6-2 configuration. What that means is that we're using our 6th string and our 2nd finger, that's the middle finger. We're going to start on G, which is a 6th string 3rd fret. Now you can do this 6-2 configuration on any note on the 6th string. So we could do a G major scale starting with the root note of G. We could do an A major scale starting with the root note of A or B and so on. Anywhere on the sixth string you can do this 6-2 scale. Here's what it looks like. Fret, we went all the way up the fretboard and all the way back down. I'm going to show you how that goes. So we're going to start at G, and then a whole step to A, and then a whole step to B on the fifth string, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E on the fourth string, whole step to F sharp because the G has an F sharp, and then a half step back to G. Then a whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D, whole step to E, half whole step to F sharp, half step back to G, and then the A. And then we're going to do the whole thing backwards. And then resolve back to G. So that's your basic G major scale on a 6-2 configuration. Once you learn this 6-2 configuration, you can do it anywhere on the fretboard. So we did a G major scale starting with our second finger on the sixth string, that's six, two, on the third fret, and that's G. If we move down to the fifth fret, that's A, we can do an A major scale. Same exact pattern, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay. 
So it's the same scale we did at G, we did down at A. You can do it down at B, anywhere on, anywhere that you can reach on the fretboard, you can do this 6-2 scale. It means we're starting on the sixth string with our second finger anywhere. Okay, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm really happy to start this channel with you. And I want to hear from you too. I'm just learning this. I'm definitely not an expert. I want to know what you know also. So if you have tips and tricks to share with me, please send them my way. And uh, look forward to more videos in the future. Thanks.